What's up marker heads? It's Karen from Art by Karen E. Haley and today I'm doing a collaboration and a challenge with Julian who is another YouTube artist and I'm very excited to do this series. I'm challenging many other artists and Julian's video here is the first so let's get on into it and see what he has for me to do. Hello everyone, I'm Julian Martinez. Today I'm collaborating with Art by Karen E. Haley. On my channel, I do speed paints, painting videos, and occasional challenge videos. A few weeks ago, Karen had posted this video saying that she was interested in collaborating with a few artists, and me being really inspired by her, like, through everything, I really jumped to the idea. The actual collab consists of us exchanging challenge ideas, so without further ado, my challenge to you, Karen, is to do the secondary color challenge. We're only allowed to utilize the three secondary colors, orange, purple, and green, with the exception of any fine liners or highlighting tools that you wish to use. Karen actually challenged me to do the monochrome challenge, so basically, I'm only allowed to use one color, but I could use any value I wish. Considering that most of my art has a really simple color scheme of black, white, or gray, this was kind of hard for me to push myself out of my comfort zone and work with an actual color. The last thing I really have to say is thank you so much, Arpa Karen e. Haley. You've always been this huge inspiration to me, and being able to collab with you today is this unbelievable feeling, and I really hope everyone enjoys the video and the content that Karen continues to create. Alright, so you heard Julian. My challenge is to use the secondary colors. That would be purples, greens, and oranges. So that's what I've got here. My markers are lined up and ready to go. By the way, if you don't know who Julian is, you should totally check out his channel. He also did a challenge with me because we are collaborating and he did the monochrome challenge and I totally recommend you guys check it out. Um, as of this recording, obviously I haven't seen it yet, but I'm sure it's really cool. His stuff is really awesome, so I totally recommend you guys check him out. Um, I did go ahead and outline this with purple pencils because I wanted to keep the outlines within the color scheme. And I also beforehand did some uh, color tests of me blending the different colors together uh, and doing value studies of what I have just to see what I've got to work with. Um, I did some layers with these colors, and I also did a little color test of my bunny rabbit here. I might do a couple more color tests before I put ink to the final. Um, and I also, just to show you a little bit of my process with most illustrations, um, I did a lot of pose and thumbnail tests with this, and kind of did a sketch of his face. I just wanted to nail down how I wanted to look, and uh... How I wanted the illustration to look. I really wanted to push my... I'm knocking stuff over. <laughs> I really wanted to push my um, limits with what I can do with his pose. So I think I settled on either this one or this one um, for the final image and I kind of pushed the expression a little bit more. And I hope you guys enjoy! Let's get into the coloring! So the list of the markers I'm using are going to be in the description below. I also want to mention that if you are not totally familiar with color theory, this secondaries thing needs a little explaining. So if you don't know, uh, we have the three primary colors on the color wheel. We have red, yellow, and blue. You mix blue and yellow to get green, you mix blue and red to get purple, and you mix red and yellow to get orange. And these are our secondary colors, which are the ones I'm using in this illustration. Um, these colors, since they all are a combination of two different primary colors, when you mix them, they tend to become brownish, uh, and that's just the way that they work. If you mixed all three primaries, you would get a kind of gray-brown color, and so mixing the secondaries is kind of kind of an, a little bit of an off-balanced version of mixing all of the primaries together. Um, and so I had to really play around and plan ahead before doing this illustration, mainly because I needed to make sure I knew how they looked when you layered them in a certain order. Because co uh, Copic markers are a transparent medium, you mix them by layering, and the order in which you layer really, it really affects <laughs> the way that the final color will look. So for instance, 
um, with Taffy, which is the rabbit character, um, he is black and white, and so in his black areas, I wanted him to have a purple overtone with orange lighting. So I made my face, my first layer, excuse me, my blabbers, <laughs> um, I put my first layer down with purple and I mapped out where the shadows were going to be very first and then I um, slowly blended that towards the lighted edge of him because the side of him that's in light is going to be slightly orange in cast or very orange it turned out actually um, but that's okay I really like the way it looks um, so I blended the purple towards some orange and that's my base layer and then I went over it with I believe green and then orange and then again with purple and that built up my colors and made them really nice and dark and it also made sure that the overall cast of his black areas was purple and I did the same thing with the soil that he's standing on that was green and then orange and then purple and uh, and then with the trees I think I just went in with purple and then layered over it with green and then went back over it with purple um, my whole approach to this illustration really, <laughs> really started, like, I started with the colors. I had to look at what colors I had and decide what I was going to do from there. So, um, of course carrots are green and orange, and that was a main thing that I was thinking of. I also really wanted to use taffy regardless of what he was going to be doing. Um, and I kind of feel, uh, looking at this illustration, I kind of feel like Taffy. I was just kind of felt like I was trying to yank something really difficult out of myself. You know, uh, trying to pull something out of the ground that looked good. Um, <laughs> so it was kind of like, the whole concept of the illustration was just like trying to do something that's really difficult. Um, that, but I really wanted to do it, you know, so. It was kind of challenging, and uh, I really liked the way it turned out. I hope that you guys like the illustration. I hope you like Taffy. He's my uh, little buddy. I really like to draw this rabbit, and he is part of an upcoming series that you will see. Um, he's part of a bigger project, and so I hope that you like him. Also, I really do recommend you guys check out Julian's channel. His channel is really cool. He does a lot of detailed pen work, which I think is really cool. It's something that I like to do, but don't do very often, so when I see someone else do it well, I really appreciate it. And I I really like his channel. I don't know, I just, I did a shout out for him quite a while actually, and I'm happy to have collabed with him. So thank you, Julian, so much for collaborating with me, and if you guys would like to see more collaborations, there will be another one coming up in a couple of weeks, and every, every couple of weeks, until July, I've got some collaborations lined up, so I hope you guys enjoy those and enjoy challenges because they're all art challenge related. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope that maybe this was useful to you or maybe entertaining in a way. Um, and if it was, please subscribe or let me know in the comments what you thought and how I could improve or do something maybe that you'd like to see next time. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.